When Tunnel 16 came out, it didn't directly introduce any brand new defenses. Instead, it introduced the ability to merge defenses, with the first two being the cannon and the archer tower. And now that it's been a few months since the release, it is becoming pretty clear that merge defenses are going to change Clash of Clans forever, and they're going to be the future of the game. And today, we'll be going over the merge defenses, their current impact on the game, and also what the future is going to look like with them in the game. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is as you go all the way back to when the gear ups first came into the game, as those are really kind of like the original merged defenses and what really created the foundation for the new ones to come into the game. So there were three original gear ups, which would be the cannon, mortar, and archer tower. Everyone would more or less be forced to gear up each of these defenses since that is a requirement for unlocking the sixth builder, but there always is the option to just convert them back to their original form which interestingly isn't an option for the merge defenses but we'll talk more about that later as for how good the gear ups were well it depends for each of the defenses when it came to the mortar i think everyone can agree that the geared up version is just much better especially at the higher town halls where the mortars are used to fend against flame flingers since i mean that is really all that they are good for anymore but more importantly you have the cannon and archer tower and their gear ups are a lot more controversial they will basically get around double the damage in exchange for a significantly smaller range and this is what caused a lot of problems. Some people were saying that it was better while others were saying it was worse and then you also had some people saying that it literally didn't even matter. And I mean everyone has a point depending on what town hall they are and like the types of attacks they have to defend against. So overall, the gear ups were kind of interesting in that they overall weren't exactly groundbreaking or game changing in any way, but they definitely laid the foundation for things like modifications to exist for the defenses. And this brings us to the merge defenses, which are a lot bigger of a deal since they are permanent and are treated like an entirely new defense instead of just being a modified defense like the gear ups were. There are currently only two, with them being the multi archer tower and the ricochet cannon, so so it is interesting to see how there were three gear ups but only two merge defenses though I have no doubt that the next one will be the mortar. But anyways back to the merge defenses. These were also a lot less controversial than the gear ups. While it was debatable whether or not the geared up budget tower and cannon were good or bad that just wasn't the case with the merge defenses. In both cases the merge defenses would end up doing more damage and having more health than two of their individual defenses. The only trade off would be that there was only one instead of two, meaning there will be less coverage, but that isn't really as big of a problem, and I'll get to why a little later on in the video. First, let's actually just look at each of the defenses to see what makes them different and a worthwhile upgrade. The Ricochet Cannon deals more than double the damage of a single cannon, like I mentioned earlier, and the attack is different as well as it hits more than one target through the Ricochet feature, which is how it got its name. The range is slightly lower at 9 tiles instead of standard 10.5 tiles but that isn't really as big of a difference when compared with the geared up cannon and overall this is really like a worthwhile upgrade because you're getting more power and more damage at the expense of less coverage over your base and as for the multi archer tower well it shoots three arrows at a time meaning it can hit three different targets at the same time and it has the same range as your normal archer tower so there isn't really even a trade-off there. And it has more health and obviously does more damage than the normal archer towers. So overall this is really good as it can deal with bigger swarms of troops a whole lot better than the normal archer tower and that was one of its biggest weaknesses. So overall one thing that both of these merged defenses had in common was that they essentially turned single targeting defenses into multi targeting ones which is something that the game needs more with the rise of the spammy strategies that have a lot of different troops. Also something that doesn't really even get talked by enough is whole space saving aspect with merge defenses since they essentially take two buildings and condense them into one which obviously helps save a lot of space and this is really why i think that merge defenses are the future of the game since they help tackle what is arguably the biggest issue in the game and that is the fact that we are running out of space i mean the devs already basically merged the barracks into just two buildings instead of six as they made so there's just one normal barrack and one dark barrack instead of four normal ones 
ones and to dark ones. The game really needs more ways to save space and the merge defenses are the perfect way to do that. Through them, the devs are basically able to add in new defenses while also taking up less space. This helps keep the game feeling pretty fresh and I honestly think that it'll be the future of the game and it'll be the way how the devs are able to essentially add in a bunch more town halls. How I see it is that eventually more and more merged defenses will come out at newer town hall levels and this will force the bases to get smaller and smaller and the focus will be shifted to like having small bases that just have some really strong powerful defenses and then once the bases have been condensed as much as possible that is when the devs will be able to add in new things and grow the bases back out again and this would obviously be something that happens over the course of many many years as it would allow for the expansion of the game without expanding the size of the building area but i think i may be getting a little too ahead of myself so let's go back to the more near future and talk about newer merged defenses that we could see within the next one to two years so the first one is obviously the mortar since that just makes sense for a multitude of reasons. First of all, it was one of the original geared up defenses and second of all, it is the worst defense in the game since the only real good thing about it is that its range is big enough to hit flame flingers, otherwise it is completely useless. So having a way to merge the mortars to make them actually good is really what the game needs. And as for what it could be like, personally I think a multi trajectory mortar would be the best thing. This would basically be where you combine two two mortars and enhance them to basically shoot four shots and each of these shots are able to follow different trajectories to hit multiple targets. So it'll be really similar to the multi archer tower and on top of that it could also be made so that the mortar can target both ground and air targets and to counterbalance it out the range will be one tile smaller and there would obviously be the trade off of not having as much coverage. This is really something that a lot of people are looking forward to and something that a lot of people want since I think it is about time that the mortar finally got some attention and became good again. And another possible defense to get a merge could be the wizard tower since while it isn't exactly bad it also isn't really all that good. I think that a merged version of this could kind of be like the electro dragon and that it sends out a chain attack in which multiple different targets are affected and there could be like a small stun effect. This would really help make attacks more interesting and will make the wizard tower a much more interesting defense in the game. So overall, the merge defenses are something that first kind of came out with the gear ups but the way they are now is really how the game will progress in the future and the merging of defenses is how the game is going to stay alive for a much longer period of time and they are the solution to the space issue inside of the game. But with that said, we're at the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and also let me know what you think about the merge defenses and whether or not you like them and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.